Welcome back, survivors. I'm the Survival Vis, and welcome back to The Hunter Call of the Wild. So I know the last episode was about an hour long, a lot of ranting and rambling, and got a few animals taken down, but this time we're going for a big game. We're going for the European Bison, and there's only one weapon that I know of in-game that's actually a weapon class 4, and just give me a minute to get everything set up properly. There we go. So that's the Range Master... 33.8. It has a single. It can. It's bolt action. Let's see. There are very large games such as Moose and Bear with Boom Stopping Power, Power Choice among guys and outfitters. So we're going to use a 338 magazine polymer tip bullet. So it's very good penetration. Maybe that's why the 243 wasn't doing as good for us, was that it had good expansion but not penetration, and we got a scope on it. And we're also going to get ourselves something a little fun. One of the DLCs added in ATVs. So we're going to hop on and go drive in a little bit. So we are in the very southwestern part of the map, and this is where I found a lot of bison whenever I've really been around here. So this is definitely going to alert any game that we're around. No. It might take a little while getting back to driving it a little better and properly. But this should let us get out into the deeper parts of the reserve so we can try to find... It takes a lot of smoke, doesn't it? Well, this will let us cover the most ground, and I figure we'll kind of work our way back and in. Because it looks like the wind would be blowing constantly at our backs. And we'll say, screw you, wind, and go oh, exactly where it's blowing us towards, or it's blowing towards us. That way we can just work our way back. And I have to say, I have absolutely no idea exactly where I want to go. So I'm just driving in a straight line. Oh, there's something over this way. Might as well see what it is. Oh, that's a tree. Oh, so these are little landmarks that will give you a little XP boost for finding them. The Worm Glaciation. During the warm glaciation, this part of the Alps was drier than the rest. This allowed many species to survive where they could not have elsewhere. As a result, many species of plants are endemic to this region. So that'll give us a little bit of experience. Ooh, we also have a very nice view around us. Oh, nope. That's right, our loadout has changed a little bit, so let me go and properly go over everything about the character. So weapons this time, the 20, .22, .223. We're only going to be using the Hoi... Hoi... Howie Reeker bow, I think it might be. I'm pretty sure I butchered that pronunciation. And the Range Master. We've got binoculars, the proper collars for the fallow deer, a red deer collar, a roe deer collar, and then our jackrabbit for foxes. Into our skill tree. Because I just did these a cursory glance, we've got the locate tracks at level 3, the harden at the one from Max. I'm only happy when it rains for decreased visibility in foggy and rainy weather. Uh, track knowledge up to level 3. Just gonna have a drink and move over. We got connect the dots at its full level, so that kind of points everything together on the map. Soft feet to reduce our noise when traveling through vegetation. Improvised blind. So using any shrubs or bushes, that helps that. Our startle call, which does kind of works, but not overly well, in my opinion. And a stir vegetation for the one. In an ambusher, we have the scent tinkerer, just a random thing to allow us to get the spotting knowledge. Into our perks for the weapons, we have the muscle memory, level 2, steady hands up to level 2, and the breath control up to level 3. Now, if you use rifles more, I'd probably say the zeroing and the wind well, the windage may help for your archery, but I don't know how well it would be. Your zeroing is pretty good for having on a multitude of weapons. 
In handguns, I've got the Sprint and Load and the Survival Instincts, just so that way I can work again towards Ranger. Nothing in the shotgun perks, because I don't really use shotguns at all. In archery, we have one level in the full draw, our move and shoot, the 2 and 2 and increased confidence, the like pro, 2 and 2 and recycle, and 2 and 2 and pumping iron. So, with that out of the way, we're going to hop back on our ATV and try not to get ourselves killed as we drive around a little bit. That's right, gotta steer with the, the waz. So we'll go along the lake shore a little bit, see if we can spot anything. Or just get some good distance to be able to start working our way back. Now I've usually had pretty good luck in always finding bison in this region. So I'm hoping maybe if we go out far enough, we'll... Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Head out of the dr We don't want to go in the drink. The ATV will need a wash, but it doesn't need one that badly. I do have the hand that is, is very beautiful to look at. Is that they really did a wonderful job on the graphics for the game. Even the Hunter Classic had some very good graphics for its time of release. Come on, this isn't a boat. Although it is an all-terrain vehicle, so maybe that maybe it could substitute as a boat. Okay, so this is the very edge of the map. So that's good to know. Uh-oh. Oh, did we get ourselves stuck? No, we did not. Okay. So let me open up the map, because we're... Ooh, yeah, we're at the very, very edge of the reserve. So we'll... Try going up this hill here. Oh, I don't think she'll make it. She's trying, but I don't think she's got the power. Yeah, she's doing a bunch of stupid shit, ain't she? Okay, well, you have the power in reverse, so you're just going straight in reverse. You can do it. Up you go, up you go. Uh oh. Oop. There you go. Kind of climb up this little bit here. Once we get up, we should be okay. There we go. Ah, okay, there we go. So let me just take a look on our map. Yeah, we're back into the reserve proper now. Actually, the first time I've ever come across that message, I've never gone out to the very edges of it before. Okay. Now, where do I want to try heading to find bison? Uh, we'll try maybe over towards that pond that, or lake that was on the map a bit. has usually been pretty good for them. It'll just be about trying to find them now, I think. I don't think we need the lights on in the broad daylight. I was hoping maybe we'd find a track or something. Maybe we even run into a herd of them. Oh, come on. Okay, let's see. A little 
we'll remove that waypoint that's on the map, and we'll put one for that one there. We should be able to find some signs of them maybe drinking there. We'll get an idea of when they might have gone near. Hello. This is what we were after. Yeah, so they're in a run, so they definitely probably heard us coming. Okay, uh, we definitely just spooked them, so we'll leave the ATV back there, and we'll come back for it eventually. Now that we know we're on a fresh trail, we'll see if we can follow this along and catch up to it. The bison aren't actually that hard to hunt, it's just that they are such tough animals that they will not go down very easily. Yep, so just a rock up there, let's get the rifle zoomed out properly. Unless you have the proper weapon class, the animals will only really go down with a lower weapon class if you've got a very good vital shot on them. Otherwise, it's like using a pea shooter on them, really. Okay, let's see. Yeah, still in a run. I was just looking to see. Maybe we could glass where they might be, but... We are making some noise, but not as much as I think we to really be able to spook them, depending on where they've gone. So this is just now. Okay, and then they went up this way from the looks of that track there. Oh, and something smaller's out here too. It could be a roe deer, it might even be a red deer. Oh. And there he is. That may be him. I don't know, I keep on pressing the wrong button to bring out binoculars. want to try to get a nice open shot on him when he's not... Okay, well, he's kind of walking away. Oh, I think that sped him up a little bit. I broke out into a little bit of a trot there, so let's... Oh, no, come on. Yeah, I'm back up. Ooh, yeah, I'd say this is a power... When you have to break the barrel of the rifle to... No, nope, is that him or is that a different one? I wish I had that tagging up. No, that's not the binoculars. Okay, well, we'll at least head down and see. I'm hoping that was a lung shot. How big he is, those lungs have to be pretty sizable, too. And I think they also have, because of how the bison are, just their anatomy, there might be a bone that kind of... Their shoulder blades might actually protect the lungs quite a bit. So we'll see once we can kind of get closer down here. Oh, there's a little bit there. Yeah, so that was the one we were following. So there should be... Oh, that's a different one. Oh, yeah, and you can see from that big pool there, that was a vital shot on the first one. So we're definitely hunting the big game now, and we have the proper rifle for it. One of the ways I was able to kind of level up the character was by 
finding a big herd of bison and just using a weapon class 3 on them and just taking a number of hits to try to get them down. Because the bison do provide a lot of money on that proper takedown. Yeah, there's our first one. So we'll see how many we can bag in the span of maybe 20 more minutes. I don't want to make the episodes too long. Like, the last episode I think was a little too, well, maybe not just a little, but pretty long for a full hour. So here's our first bison. Yeah, look at, ooh, look at the size of the heart, too. So that was a thousand for cash for us. As for experience, we'll find that out in just a moment. Yeah, 203, so that's pretty good. And the rifle score bonus up, even though we don't really need that anymore. And here's this one. It looks like... Yeah, it looks like we got a vital shot off on this one as well. So probably didn't go far before he went down. Should be just up ahead now, I think. Yeah, there he is. And we've already gotten two bison now. So I'd say this is already going quite swimmingly compared to our other one. And I'm... Oh, do I want to go back for the ATV? Not really. Really not really? <laughs> That's a bit of a ways to travel for it. There we go, but I think we will keep heading this way. If we can find more bison, then that'll be a good game to take down and help us towards our score. Because how are we doing towards that? We still need 4,500 around that to level up. So if you only get about 200 per animal, that means... Oh, we'd have to take down, what, 20 animals? That's actually not too bad sounding. It's just that you have to remember how long it can take you to find them as well. But, we'll go for, I think 35 minutes should be a good approximate length for this episode. Take down a few more bison if we can find them. Well, something else was running through here. It might have been a roe deer, because this looks like pretty small tracks. Yep. It Road deer came through here. Yeah, that's our rabbit gun, so we want this one. Just in case we do find them. Binoculars are ready too, just if we can blast anything down the hill. Uh, this country isn't really, well, this type of terrain isn't really the best to try glassing with because of the slope. You can sometimes see things on it, but most of the time it's probably going to be pretty difficult. Looking downrange, though, you'll have a lot better luck. But you also kind of hope that you have some openings in the trees to get good visibility through. All in all, not too bad. And we'll just keep on making our way slowly along. See if we can find more tracks or spot anything else. We still got a ways to go before we'll find that lake, and I'm guessing that's, well, that might be one of the big need zones in the area, so. Generally, if you go where water is, you'll find all kinds of animals, or you'll find signs of them. Actually, animals, I think, really only have the two basic needs, don't they? Food and water. I guess I do have shelter and the need to sleep, but I don't know... Actually, you never really think about that, do you? 
where they kind of sheltered down and like where a herd of deer really go and sleep it off. And do they sleep during the day or actually no, I think they're most more act towards the evening. It's just kind of stuff you don't overly think about often, isn't it? Like, for instance, okay, say uh, we're talking about a herd of white-tailed deer. So when would be the best time for them to be active? Would it be during the day when you would think most predators would be active? Actually, would most predators be active during the day? And are there really that many predators that would go after deer? Aside from wolves, I don't think you'd really have to worry too much about things like a bear going after them. I know, depending on location, geography-wise, mountain lions or cougars might go after them, but would they work during the day or the night? Huh. That's actually an interesting thing about, isn't it? At least coming up here gives us a fantastic view of Hirschfunden. And that island way out there is probably one you can see off. In fact, that might be... I'm not sure which one that might be. That could even just be the ones here. That kind of gives you a better idea of the scope of just how large the maps are that you can kind of hunt on. And I doubt I'd be able to glass anything all the way over there. No real point in it either. Uh, we'll stay on the kind of steep slopes we... Actually, we should probably try to get up these. Just because it might be pretty easy to slip off and fall. Although I say that and I'm trying to run up them, so... Yeah, I'm not very smart, am I? Okay, well, let's go and slow down a bit and maybe try to... ease our way down and not kill ourselves. This is a good glassing opportunity. Got nice open country in between some of the trees. You're well high up for good vantage. We don't want to break our neck if we don't move carefully. Unfortunately, it doesn't really look like there's anything we can find at the moment. Although there is a uh, cabin of some kind. I don't think I've ever been to that little thing. I mean, we'll go down and do a little bit of exploring, see what that is. I know you can find things like hiking villages and hunting cabins kind of scattered about, so maybe that's what that one is. I actually don't know if I've really ever been out here. The map is kind of darkish, although maybe that's just the terrain, I don't know. Oh. Uh, just going through a few drops, but nothing too major. And I don't really see anything else. Hmm. Really quiet this time around. I guess after the two bison, we're, we got lucky with those. Oh. Oh, so there are red deer all the way up here, too. I'll have to keep that in mind. Cabin. We're getting closer to that, at least. Thought we'd get a little luckier and find a big herd of bison, but maybe not. Although I think one area we can check is right down in this area here there might be some. It usually seemed... or would it be more over this way? There's usually an area around this where you can find a huge herd of them just kind of going around the road. So maybe it'll be... More off to the east. Rainer's Cabin. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been here. I mean, it's actually a very nice and quaint looking spot, isn't it? Outhouse, laundry line. Kind of a little summer cabin, almost. Although I don't think you can go inside, can you? No, no prompt on the door. 
yeah, this would be a nice little spot just to have, wouldn't it? Go out for, say, a weekend or so, or a hunting trip. I think that's a quaint little spot to keep memory up. Okay, let's see. No, let's aim for the road. So I think if we can get along the main road, we'll have a better chance of finding some game along its edges. It seems like even if you go wandering off into the woods, you'll get more clues just by sticking to the roads and the trails on the map. Well, that was a weird warning call. Oh, no, we don't need the range master. We're not trying to overkill the poor thing. We'll take our bow out just in case, though. Mm. Let me see, where's our red gear collar? I don't know if that's supposed to call anything in, or we're supposed to sound like a dying animal. Well, we'll try to get into the cover of the tree and see, because it sounds like that red deer is just right around here. Yeah, she might actually just be inside that tree there. Or under its branches, not in. Well, actually, this game, you might have to specify in or not. There are some times where you'll come across animals literally stuck in things. Boulders, trees, the ground. really just a flesh wound? Come on, I thought that would have been a little better than that. But the bow is definitely the hardest weapon to aim with. You'll definitely need some time practicing and understanding how it is, because honestly, it almost seems like it shoots upwards from where you're aiming most of the time. back. See, that's the weird thing with the AI, is it'll bring itself right back to basically where it was before it happened. Well, at least that... There we go. Put her down quick and as quick as we can. I feel sorry for her. Wait, what? Okay. Well, it's weird that's where it stopped. Like, it doesn't, it almost doesn't even look like it's... Is it even actually hitting her? Anyway, at least we were able to... get her put down quick to try to spare any prolonged suffering there. That's... I really want to get much better with the bow to make it quick drops on them, but... Jesus Christ! Okay, well, that's a very immersive thunderstorm. I was not expecting to be scared that easily by it, damn! Unfortunately, I don't think our gunshots will blend in with the thunder if we do take on anything else. As we'll go along the road a little bit, and if we can get one more bison, I think that would be a good spot to say this episode was a success. You can even see the road right down there. Between the two base maps, I'd have to say I prefer Leighton Lake District, just because 
it feels more like stuff I've seen around where I live. Like, I do live in North America, Canada, so I'm more used to the boreal forest and all that stuff more around us than I am Hirschfelden's sort of layout to it. Although, don't get me wrong, this is beautiful still. I'd love to be able to go to places like this and just hike around a little bit. But I think that it's going to be a long way off before I ever have opportunities to be able to go off and hike or just sightsee and honestly just to live a little, to be honest. Right now, I suppose I have a quite a few things to get together in life before I can worry about doing stuff like that. For now, though, these are nice little escapes and just fun ways to pass time. Ooh! Well, 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 looky what we found here. I was thinking of we'd maybe find one, but we found a whole herd of them. Unfortunately, they're all females. I thought they had a rest zone somewhere nearby. So, huh? are there any that are really easy to see that we might want to try for? Well, we'll get up on this little hill, glass, and then look maybe taking one or two down, depending on how fast we are to be able to reload. But boy, oh boy, did they ever line themselves up nice and pretty for us. Let's see. Oh, yeah, they're getting active, so... Might as well go for... Yeah, they scattered pretty quickly. They may come back towards this way. If I feel very good going at while having a rifle. I, maybe this is where the shotgun would have given you a little earlier access to hunting them. I think that shot should have been right in the vitals. I was hoping to get the heart. To... What the hell? Oh, okay. A red fox. I was going to say, what the hell was that? This is actually... Okay, well we do hear the bison call still going out, but we also did have that fox maybe we can try getting. So this would be pretty okay terrain to try getting them with. There's nowhere like real brush that it can kind of hide in. Now with it rainy, we do have that one skill that helps us. We also do have to find out where that one shot landed on that bison, so... I'll just go a little slow, look around on the ground... ...and do a few calls to see. from it, huh? Oh, well, maybe up ahead. No, these are just more tracks. I thought I would have found out. Should have paid much more attention to. Oh, maybe up here. No, these are just more footprints. Oh, looks like. 
There is a trail right here of blood. So we can see. I have a feeling it's probably just a low rate, isn't it? Not nah, very low. Yeah, unfortunately I should have just went for the long. No idea where that fox is that we heard, though. Okay, well, we'll ignore that for now. Just because I'd rather us try to finish off that bison we nicked. Oh, shit. Definitely hear more bison up over this way, and they sound fairly close. No, I want my binoculars out. I really should have just left the binoculars in that same key bind. Okay. I'll we'll head up this way and see if we can get another one or two quickly. I do want to try to figure out where that one we nicked is, though. That's priority one if we do find it with the herd. Oh, let's head up this way. I don't know, maybe the herd got spooked and went off on us. Right, uh, glass down back towards where they might have been. Yeah, so sometimes do that. If they get startled out of their need zone, they'll run out and then run right back towards it. Although, this time, maybe not. Nah, that's probably just a rock, isn't it? Yeah, just rocks. Okay, well, they definitely either just came through here or all ran up this way. So it looks like the majority of all the prints are heading this direction. Unfortunately, though, I don't see our highlighted wounded one amongst these. I hear another red fox, but that's not really our priority. Let's just try to find the one we nicked. Oh! Maybe she is traveling with the herd again. Oh, that's actually a blood trail. I don't think she's lost that much health from it, though. Oh, actually... She surprisingly has. I thought for a very low bleed rate, it wouldn't go down that quickly, but I guess because we are using the Class 4, or the Range Master, it did do quite a bit. Well, at least we know to follow the herd, and we should be able to find her. Okay, that's just some red from another plant coming through. I almost thought there was a blood trail along the branches of the tree there. So here's more tracks, and they seem to be going over this... Oh. Okay. Well, at least this way, 
I was going to say maybe we could actually spot the one we wounded because of the spotting knowledge in the top right there, but nothing so far as to be in her. Nope, there she is. So that should take her down in just a moment. Yeah. Yeah, there she goes. Nah, I think we'll only take her. We were pretty successful in bagging those the three bison and even that red deer. Well, heard another fox. But I think that will do this episode pretty good right here. So, this was another episode of The Hunter Call of the Wild. If you'd like to see more episodes, just be sure to leave me a comment asking, and I'll do my best to try to answer those requests for you. But, until next episode, survivors, please remember, as always, to take care and stay alive.